Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can place an image between two sections in your 7.1 Squarespace website. It's going to hover over the content of both sections and I'm using a PNG so we'll be able to see the two different backgrounds behind the image. Now, if you're using an older version of Squarespace, like a Brian theme website, I have a completely different tutorial that will show you how to do this exact same effect for index pages. Check a link in the description below. But if you're in 7.1, you're in the right place. Let's hop into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how this works. So here we are in my demo site. You'll see I've got three sections here and this third section has an image that I want to pull between these two. So all I'm going to do is navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now it's the only image here on this page. So we're just going to start with the name for an image code. I'm going to say SQS block image open up a curly bracket. I'm going to scroll down so we can see what's going on here. There we go. I'm going to say margin top negative 50% and check it out. Because that image is in the lower section, it's pulled up to hover over the section above it. Now, if we hop into the mobile view, it's going to apply there as well. So definitely be careful. If you need to adjust this specifically for mobile, we can do that with code too. Let's say on the mobile version, I only want it to scoot up 30%. I can say at media only screen and open up a parentheses, max width 640 PX, close that parentheses, open up a curly bracket and repeat myself here with SQS block image, open up another curly bracket, margin top negative 30%. And then make sure I close that final bracket. There we go. So now the mobile version is only scooted up 30%. Heck, maybe we want it to be 40 so it looks a little better. There we go. And the desktop version is set to 50%. So if you use this particular line of code, you can specify change it this way on mobile and otherwise on desktop, leave it that way. So that's how we can isolate that image. Now, if you have more than one image on your site and you only want this to apply to a single image, you can use the block YUI or the block ID for that image. Everything in a Squarespace website gets a unique block ID. Now you can dig through the source code to find it, but if you don't know how to do that, you can also use an awesome free Chrome extension that I personally use, not affiliated with them at all. I just use it when I work in Squarespace, so I wanted to recommend it. If you have the free Chrome extension, which is linked in the description below, you can click on it. It will tell you the block ID for the image. You can grab that, and instead of saying SQS block image, you can just use the block ID instead. So I've replaced that there in the code. You can see the image itself still does exactly what it's supposed to do, but no other images on my website are going to be affected. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. Let's recap that code really quickly, shall we? If it's the only image on your site, you can just say SQS block image and then adjust the margin top to a negative percentage. Make sure that that image is in the second section that you want it to be hovering between the two. That way it's going to stay as the top layer above the content of that first section as well, okay? Now if you wanna isolate a specific image, just grab the block ID, and instead of saying SQS block image, use the block ID number instead. A link to the Chrome extension that I used in this tutorial is in the description below, so you can grab that free extension. Again, not affiliated, just a fan, highly recommend recommend it because it makes your life so much easier as a designer when you're trying to isolate a specific block ID. And then last but not least, if you want to adjust mobile specifically, use the text at media only screen and max width 640 PX. This code is also listed in the description below, so you can just copy and paste that into your own website and adjust that negative top margin as you see fit. Alrighty, that's really it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.